He signed an autograph, told me he would give me a pair of shoes, and then told me verbatim, don't ever bleep and ask me for anything again. My name is Ryan O'Neill. I got into game use collecting completely by accident. I honestly had no idea that players would give their shoes and jerseys. It's been a long journey of showing up early, staying late, chasing players through the parking lots, the city, um, on the road, everywhere I can. So this is probably one of the most unique pieces I own. To the naked eye, I'm sure it looks like a 34 Paul Pierce Celtics jersey. If you look closer, the 34 is printed in Red Sox font. And rather than Pierce on the back, it is the other number 34 in Boston sports history. The players used to have a player parking lot out front, so me and my friend would think of any way we could to get their attention. I'm sure security didn't like it, but uh, we had some great times chasing Pierce and Allen and Rondo through the streets of Boston, but mostly stories with Kevin Garnett. Kevin was not the most friendly person off the court, so it took me a couple months to get him to loosen up, and we would chase him out of the garden and hope that the stoplight turned red. Because if the stoplight turned red, we knew he had to stop and he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't avoid us. So eventually I chased him two city blocks, the light turned red, he actually rolled his window down, uh, talked to me. He signed an autograph, told me he would give me a pair of shoes, and then told me verbatim, don't ever bleep and ask me for anything again. All my different Rob Williams jerseys, this one was worn in the bubble. Funny story is I asked Rob to sign it. He forgot to sign his name and only signed Time Lord. When I was a kid, these guys were legends. They were bigger than life. And now that I'm a little older, they're just regular people. And it, I've been lucky enough to build relationships and friendships with these guys. I think they know how much I care and uh, how much this stuff means to me.